everyone, David Petrangelo here from Back in My Day with another indie game review on your podcast feed and if you're watching on our YouTube channel as well. Um, I recommend if you are listening to this on your feed to check out our YouTube channel as well, especially for these reviews because there's a lot of visual stuff that I reference in these reviews, especially when it comes to um, these uh, indie games that have a lot of really unique features that I think are really cool to be able to see and get a grasp of what the game is. Um, our other reviews are Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, technically not indie, but still something I really, really enjoyed and hope uh, people will check out as well. Uh, also available on Game Pass, The Wild at Heart was the first one that I did as well, another indie game uh, that's newer that came out just a couple of months ago. It's something people should check out as well. Today, I'm going to be talking about The Gardens Between. Now, this is a few years old at this point, but it came to Game Pass not that long ago. I'm a Game Pass subscriber, just another great excuse to play these indie games that have sort of been on my radar for a while. So The Gardens Between is a puzzle game with a lot of charm, a lot of really great music, and a touching story. Again, another one of those that just tugs at your heartstrings here and there. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about The Gardens Between from the Voxel Agents, which is a development studio out of Australia. Now, as I mentioned, it's a puzzle game. That's pretty much what you're doing is you're solving small puzzles on these circular islands that are framed as memories for these two friends. Now, you find out exactly why they are memories and why it does have meaning to it. I won't spoil that because I really do think that it's a great part of uh, the storytelling as well. But, you know, you'll go around these mini islands, as you can see, if you're watching our YouTube channel, it'll look like you're in a garden in a way. There'll be sort of, you know, there'll be a hose. There will be flowers and trees around you and you kind of have to find your way around these mini puzzles. Now the main aspect of the puzzle solving has to do with fast forwarding and rewinding time. It seems simple enough, you just push forward, you push back and things around you move as your characters move, but you do have to time certain things with your characters. One character carries this sort of mini lantern, I guess you could call it, that will turn certain devices on and off that will be able to get you past certain paths on these islands. And another character will be able to use pulleys and interactive items around the world as well. And you have to basically position them in certain ways and time the world around you and manipulate it in order to get past these mini obstacles that could be anything from crossing a bridge to getting underneath something at the right time so that you aren't knocked off, for example. Very simple stuff, nothing that's violent in any way whatsoever. Very charming look, as you can see here. Uh, there's also opportunities to go around cool islands that look like you're in a museum. You'll see these old printers, you'll see an old uh, audio player, you'll see, you know, all these little things that bring back memories from when you're a child as well, especially if you're like us and you are a uh, late millennial or, or sorry, early millennial and you've, you know, been around since the 80s. A lot of this stuff chimes back to the 80s and 90s, which is really cool as well. Um, the storytelling is simple, but still very touching. There's no dialogue in this game whatsoever. It took me only about three to three and a half hours to beat the entire thing. I did it in two short sittings. And I think it's actually a fantastic way to sit down with a partner, uh, a, a child or a sibling and play something that is simple yet thought provoking as well because there is a decent amount of puzzle solving in it, but nothing that you're gonna rack your brain with too, too hard. You know, I had some difficulty with a couple of them but you really have to look at the environment around you and you'll really get that aha moment when you solve a puzzle. And to do that with someone else, I can see would be fantastic. I played this solo and it was still very rewarding, but being able to sort of bounce ideas off each other and look at the beautiful world and listen to the beautiful music around you is just another bonus uh, to this game. So that is The Gardens Between. Uh, I highly recommend it, especially if you have just a few hours of, of time on your hands on a rainy day especially. It would be absolutely perfect. An indie studio called The Voxel Agents in Australia. Check it out if you have a PlayStation, if you have Steam, and especially if you have Game Pass because it's on there as well.